Hello, my name is Oliver. Today on International Women's Day, I wanted to reflect on McKinsey's commitment to diversity and inclusion in Asia. Diversity and inclusion are just not immoral imperatives, they are integral to our dual mission, to help our clients make substantial, lasting and performance improvements, and to build a firm that attracts, develops and retains exceptional people, all exceptional people. Through our groundbreaking research, including delivering through diversity, women in the workplace, and the power of parity, we have established a compelling business and economic case for gender and ethnic diversity. And as we look to our region, we know that advancing women's equality could add $4.5 trillion to Asia's annual GDP by 2025, or 12% above the business as usual. Many women can be lifted out of poverty and many more enabled to fulfill their economic potential, reinforcing the economic dynamism of the region. However, all stakeholders need to work to improve both gender equality and work and society. We know that all countries in Asia Pacific would benefit from advancing women's equality. Most of the opportunity across the region would come from raising the female labor force participation rate. Overall, Asia has made progress on gender equality, but there is a long way to go. Governments, companies, NGOs, and individuals should consider interventions to address these imbalances. Now, in my role as regional leader, I've made gender diversity one of my top priorities. Our firm-wide all-in commitment reflects a deep, long-standing practice of bringing everyone's voices to the table of recruiting diverse talent and creating an exceptional environment for the growth and advancement of women. The firm has a global representation of women sitting at 43%. Now this varies across countries and in Asia, we are dedicated to addressing the imbalance and creating equal opportunities for women in the consulting profession. We lead thousands of transformations across the region every day for our clients. And now we're holding ourselves accountable to the same requirements. One of the critical success factors is engaged and accountable leadership. As such, we have appointed a senior partner to lead our diversity efforts for the region. In addition, we have a regional task force involving all of our country heads where we actively set targets, review and report to make sure we are progressing in the right direction. There are several elements to this renewed effort. Flexible working models, sponsorship, supporting our women better through life transitions, tailored training programs, and much more. I ask all of our employees in the region to play their part, to help refer women for new roles and recruiting efforts, to actively sponsor women, to have team talks to better support each other, or simply participate in our office activities. Now, this is a long journey, and I know we can certainly achieve a lot more together. We look forward to learning more as we challenge ourselves to make change happen with more impact. Thank you and have a great International Women's Day.